throb, throb, throb. Far away in the blue transparent night, on the outer horizon of dreaming consciousness, she hears the sound of her lover's nearing boat, afar, afloat, on the river's loneliness, where the stars are the only light. Hears the sound of the straining wood like a broken sob of a heart's distress, loving, misunderstood. She lies, with her loose hair spent in soft disorder, on a silken sheet with a purple woven border. Every cell of her brain is latent fire, every fibre tense with restrained desire. And the straining oars sound clearer, clearer, the boat is approaching nearer, nearer. How to wait through the moment's space till I see the light of my lover's face? Throb, throb, throb. The sound dies down the stream till it only clings at the sense's edge like a half-remembered dream. Doubtless, he in the silence lies, his fair face turned to the tender skies, starlight touching his sleeping eyes. While his boat is caught in the thick-set sedge, and the waters round it gurgle and sob, or floats set free on the river's tide, oars laid aside. She is awake and knows no rest. Passion dies and is dispossessed of his brief despotic power. But the brain, once kindled, would still be a fire, were the whole world pasture to its desire. And all of love, in a single hour, a single wine cup, filled to the brim, given to slake its thirst. Some there are who are thus wise cursed. Times that follow fulfilled desire are of all their hours the worst. They find no respite and reach no rest, though passion fail and desire grow dim. No assuagement comes from the thing possessed, for possession feeds the fire. Oh, for the life of the bright-hued things whose marriage and death are one, a floating fusion on golden wings, alit with passion and sun. But we who remarry a thousand times, as the spirit or senses will, in a thousand ways, in a thousand climes, we remain unsatisfied still. As her lover left her, alone, awake she lies, with a sleepless brain and weary, half-closed eyes, she turns her face where the purple silk is spread, still sweet with delicate perfume, his presence shed. Her arms remember his vanished beauty still, and, reminiscent of clustered curls, her fingers thrill. While the wonderful, starlit night wears slowly on, till the light of another day, serene and wan, pierces the eastern skies. End of poem.